Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. If you're planning to install an EL25 or EL2000SS telephone entry system, this video will teach you best practices of how to prepare and what to look for at a commercial or residential site. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Carefully planning your installation by surveying the site is the best way to ensure proper function of the product and to avoid problems that can lead to costly delays during installation. LiftMaster has created a site survey form to assist you in ensuring the site meets all requirements, including telephone signal requirements, installation location requirements, and optional equipment considerations. Let's start with the requirements for the telephone signal. The EL25 and EL2000SS require an analog telephone line, referred to as POTS, which stands for Plain Old Telephone Service, or Copper Line. You'll need to confirm a ring signal voltage of approximately 70 volt AC and a loop current of approximately 23 milliamps. Telephone lines with DSL service carry a digital signal used for connection to the Internet in addition to the telephone signal used for voice communication. In order for this type of line to be compatible with an EL25 or EL2000SS system, the analog and digital signals must be separated with a DSL filter. DSL filters are available upon request from most telephone providers, but we recommend installing an outdoor DSL POTS splitter filter with a weatherproof housing. Best practices for hardware installation include the following. Power the telephone entry system using a dedicated 120 volt AC outlet located within 250 feet of the access control panel. This outlet should be wired back to its own circuit breaker with a minimum of 10 amps. If a dedicated outlet is not available within 250 feet, consider replacing the 16.5 VDC transformer with an adjustable power supply to compensate for the voltage drop due to the longer wiring. The telephone entry system must be grounded to a good ground source such as an earth ground rod in accordance with local building codes. The ground source should be located within 12 feet from the access control panel. Use ground wire that is a minimum of 18 gauge and keep the ground wire as straight as possible. Always check national and local codes for the proper depth of the earth ground rod. If a ground rod cannot be installed, provide a ground source such as a metallic cold water pipe or existing electrical system. If an EL2000SS system is going to be installed onto a pedestal, you must use a metal plate for additional rigidity. LiftMaster offers an adapter plate made of steel with pre-made mounting holes. The model number is EL2000SSPKT. Each computer used to update the EL25 or EL2000SS system requires a dial-up modem or USB to RS-232 serial adapter. LiftMaster offers a dial-up modem with model USB modem. The USB to serial adapters can be found online at various electronic supplies web stores. If the application requires a postal lock, the site owner or manager should request one at their local branch of the United States Post Office. The WOMOD KT Accessory Kit provides compatibility with a large number of standard Wigan devices that transmit 26-bit or 30-bit data. Each kit has two Wigand inputs that can be configured to operate one of the four doors available in the system. The EL25 or EL2000SS system can accommodate up to two WOMOD KT accessory kits. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Learn more about our access control solutions when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com slash access control.